Hey friends, it's me, Pastor Doug, with another word of encouragement for the day for today, Tuesday, November 2nd. And today's word comes out of the book of Psalms, chapter 89, verse 1. And in it, we continue to explore the series of phrases that God himself uses to describe himself all the way back in Exodus chapter 34, verses 6 and 7. And one of the phrases in that particular passage that God uses to describe himself is that he says that he abounds in love and faithfulness, abounding in love and faithfulness. So what's interesting is, first of all, he uses the word abounding, right? Which just means overflowing. But then those two words, love and faithfulness, those two words appear together in the scriptures literally hundreds of times, over a hundred times just in the Psalms alone, that those two words, love and faithfulness, are used together to describe God. Now, what's interesting about that is these aren't just two separate words, sort of standalone words that get mashed together. They're words that actually describe each other. In other words, God's love is faithful and God's faithfulness is loving. And so when you see these two words together, it's describing the rich, beautiful character of God. Now, I want to read to you Psalm 89, verse 1, and I want you to listen for the words love and faithfulness. Listen to what it says. I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known through all generations. Continuing in verse two, I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you have established your faithfulness in heaven itself. It's a perfect example of what I was talking about. These two words, love and faithfulness, appearing together in these rich, beautiful descriptions of who God is. Now, I don't know about you, but there are things that I loved 10 years ago that I don't love anymore. There are things that I loved 20 years ago that I don't love anymore. Think about your favorite song from 20 years ago or 10 years ago. Is it still your favorite song? Maybe it is, but for most of us, those things kind of shift and change. My favorite restaurant, my favorite movie, my favorite TV show, right? All of these things shift and change over time. Now, I made a commitment to my wife, so my relationship with my wife, who I loved 10 years ago, I still love today, but it's because that love is a faithful covenant love, right? It's not here today, gone tomorrow. It's a faithful covenant love. We made a vow to love each other. And friends, that's the kind of loving faithfulness that scripture is describing God as having, that he keeps his covenant love, that he is faithful in his love towards his people. So friends, be encouraged by that this morning. Have a great day and we'll see you tomorrow.